What we've got here is the new SIG X macro grip for your SIG P365. Here's the 17 round magazine that they've made for it. Let's compare the 17 round magazine to the current SIG 17 round magazine. This is your P320 17 round magazine. And you can see it's a little bit longer than the new one and just a little bit wider than the new one. The original P3 2017 round magazines will not fit in the X Macro grips. Will the X Macro new 17 round magazine fit here? No, it is not going to go in your SIG P320 grip. P365, this is the original 365 they came out with. Standard barrel length, standard slide, standard P365 grip. Can I cut this X macro grip and make it fit the slide for this P365? So let's see if we can cut that and make that happen. So years ago, I cut the X5 grips down to fit the P320 compact firearms. Several people sent me their grips from around the country for me to cut them to fit their P320 compact firearms. Kevin sent me a couple of them to cut down, and he is the one that sent me this SIG grip here. So we've taken the firing mechanism out of here, and we've taken our mag release out of here. It didn't have a mag release in it. So let's take a quick peek at the mag release and how it fits. So I took it from the original P365 grip and slipped it in the X macro grip, the mag release. See how it's barely sticking up here in it? And look at it on this side. See how it's tilted in? It doesn't come all the way up flush. Now it does work. You can insert your magazine in there. It snaps and locks. You reach up and bump it, it does come out. So it does function and work in there. It's just a little short. So your P365 magazine releases will work in here. It's just not the best fit. They must have made a new magazine release to fit this one. Just to see how it worked, I took the magazine release out of the P320 full size, slipped it in here. It is the same size it does fit. It just hangs way out on this side of the gun. So that's really not a uh, good way, efficient way to be using that. And it didn't, it didn't snap the magazine in properly. So don't put your 320 magazine releases in here. It's not going to work. So let's get started on marking this up to cut it. So let's use the slide. So let's get our 365 slide and slip it right on here. Slide lock it. Trigger still functions, slide works properly. Everything's working out good. So what we need to do now is mark the front of the gun where we're going to cut it at. Where we're gonna make our cut. See the beveled area right here? We're gonna come back and mark that just a little bit. I'm gonna stay just a little shy of it. And that'll be where we'll file back to. Let's mark this side. We got our two marks on here where we're gonna cut, where we're gonna file to, where we're gonna cut, where we're gonna file to. So once we cut it, you can see we're only going to have one pick rail that you can use back here. We will cut back at an angle and take these two pick rails off. I'm just going to drop the grip in this miter box and we're going to nice and slow cut this off. That was pretty easy to cut off once we got through the thick part. We cut right through the smaller end. We won't need that. So as you can see, I'm just using my file and flattening this out right here. 
taking this final piece off, getting it to the right angle that I want, just taking my time. No hurry here, you can always take more. Just remember you can't put any back on. So just take your time at this point. I think I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna slice that little piece off. There we go. This little tiny bit right in here. Let's take our knife and let's just cut that off a little bit. So these are little small sanding pads that go on your Dremel. So let's see if we can use them and work this edge in right here. This pad's not quite as rough. We're gonna go back to a real fine file here. A little bit finer of a file here so we can get in here and get some fine detail going. I am just barely putting any pressure on this. Almost none. Frog lube. Every time I use my frog lube and wipe it off, I use the same rag. This rag is coated with frog lube and I can use it to buff and shine and add a little moisture back in the plastic anytime I need to do that. Look at the shine it puts right in it. Let's put our slide on. Lift up, pull down. Let's put our slide back on here. Lock it into position. Trigger functions. How does it look? So there it is with the magazine in it. Fits really well. Doesn't look bad on there, does it? We are gonna take this thing to the range and shoot it a little bit and test it out. Even with the SIG P365 mag release in it, mag release still works. Not optimal. And I'm sure he's got the X macro mag release ordered for it. Not sure why he didn't have it. Don't know if it's not coming with it with the gun or why it was missing off the frame when he bought the frame for it. But not a lot of work. Just took a little bit of time. Let's grab an Olight and see if the Olight fits on here. So it's got a little bit of wiggle, but it came with a wider piece that goes inside the pick rail that I'm sure would take care of that. But the O-light goes on there. I know I have this tilted the wrong way. Had it on another gun and I had to flip it back because the way it fit that gun, it was coming around and getting in the trigger guard there. But it does fit. Obviously it works good on there. So you still got your pick rail. You can still mount a light on the front of the gun when you cut it. Let's try our laser. And the answer is no. Your Crimson Trace lasers are not gonna fit on the Macro X grip. Looks like it's a little thicker right through here, seems to be 
a problem with it. So guys, I know you can get 12 round magazine, SIG P365. I know you can get an extension for this. So you can run the 17 round magazine and they make an extension that'll fill this in, but you're still gonna have these gaps and things in here that you're gonna feel is gonna be right where you're hanging on to the gun that you're gonna feel in that grip. Some people will say they never feel it. Or if you don't wanna have that piece, you wanna make it flush mounted all the way down, you can cut the front off your X macro grip and make it fit your SIG P365 original slide on it. Kevin, I'm glad you remembered me after all these years. You must like the way I cut the other grips for you. You sent this one to me. We're brave enough to let me cut yours first here. Thank you, sir. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun lots and gun safes. Till next time, folks. Take care.